In the Carolina kitchen today, muffins are a good option, and so are breakfast bars when you're taking breakfast on the go, right? Well, these banana oat bars give you a healthy energy boost, too. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Celine, of course, with Celine & Company is here with us. And you are doing something that's very tasty, and it's really good for those who may be watching their way a little bit. And honestly, like an afternoon, you know that bewitching hour of 4 o'clock where you're starving, and you have to have something but not fattening. So this is all, all healthy, and plus, we are always having bananas that we don't know what to do with because they are ripening too quickly. So this is it. This is an oat banana and oat bar that you will have forever. You will never buy it off the shelf ever again. Starting with three bananas that mashed. To this, we will add two teaspoons of vanilla. To this, I have four cups of oats. You can use quick oats. You can use regular oats. These okay. are regular oats. And... Um, and you just mix them really well, you will notice there is no egg, there is no flour, there is nothing, nothing but good nutritional things. This is chopped dates. Okay, so if you don't like chopped dates, fine. This is half a cup of chopped dates. What can you put in instead? Can you put chocolate chips then? Apricot, you can. <laughs> we, you know, we looked up, if we put chocolate chips, that will increase 70 calories per. So it, yes, you can. Me, not so much. <laughs> I'll stick with the dates. But raisins. Stick with the dates. With raisins, that would probably be another good thing. Apricots, you can add cranberries, cran raisins. Okay, that sounds good. And then, if you are allergic to nuts, omit this page, this step completely. This is about half a cup of cashews, peanuts, only because I like the crunchiness, and I really think a little bit of goodness is needed here okay. to just make it. So I have this that is very well sprayed. So I'm sorry I'm making a mess here. I have to use my hands as usual. You press it nicely in that casserole. And then to the finished product, you sprinkle with a little bit of cinnamon. You bake for 30 minutes, that's 30 it. minutes. That's and you cool. have the most amazing bars for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, or any reason. Let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville 28803. Or the other new fastest way, you can go to the WLOS Pinterest page. There you will find pictures of all of our recipes and all of the recipes themselves. Celine, it smells amazing. I like to use ingredients that I can pronounce and spell. That makes things easy for us as well. All right, thanks for coming in. It's always great having you, and that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.